is one of Brecken and I's favorite crafts to make. And today what you're going to be needing is you're going to need wooden popsicle sticks, which you can in just get rubber in, bands. Yep, in rubber bands, which you can get in a local craft store. We're going to need four rubber bands. You can either get colorful or you can get normal, and it doesn't really matter. We've noticed on the size of the rubber band. Um, and then also you're going to need a water bottle cap. So yes. drink your water bottle and then save the caps. Um, and we're going to glue that on there with hot glue. Hot glue. And then at the end, you get to find some cool objects to launch on your catapult. So let's get started. Here we go. All right, ready? So let's open this up. OK, so what you're going to do first is you're going to put together nine popsicles, six. So you're going to do one, two. Can you count these, Brecken? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so you're gonna put nine popsicle sticks together like this, and then you're gonna get two, grab two um, rubber bands to tie on the end. So can you choose two colors? Uh, I picked two blues. Okay, good job, two blues. I, I did get all of the blues out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start tying that rubber band onto the edge of your nine popsicle sticks. And just keep wrapping it until it's pretty tight. You don't want to really leave a lot of wiggle room for them, so make it pretty tight. Look how much blue ones I got. Oh my goodness, blue is Brecken's favorite color, if you guys did not know that. Yes, what I color blue, though? Is it like a dark blue? Then you're also going to take that second rubber band, and you're going to start tying it onto the other end of the nine popsicle sticks. Right? What, what color is your favorite? Blue. But is it like a dark blue or like a teal? Which it's a, kind? It's a teal blue. It's a teal blue. I like teal blue. What's my favorite color? Do you remember? Yellow. Okay, so here we have the nine popsicle sticks. Then we have a rubber band on this side and a rubber band on that side. So that takes care of two of the rubber bands. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to grab two more popsicle sticks. So we're going to need one plus one, which is how many? Two. Two. And we're going to put those around our nine popsicle sticks just like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to leave a little bit more room on the top, just like that. And then we're going to take another rubber band, and we're just going to go ahead and tie it around like this so that we make an X. And once again, make sure you're doing it pretty tight, uh, but not too tight to where you're going to break the rubber band. Like we've done a couple times, huh? Mm -hmm. and we made our first catapult last week, and this is our model. And we've had a lot of fun with it. And then you can kind of just push it back and forth and make sure that it's right there in the middle. And then like I said, just make sure you have a little bit more room on the top uh, for these popsicles as opposed to the bottom there. And then for step number three, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and push these together shut. Gonna take one more rubber band. What color do you want on the edge? Are we gonna do an all blue one? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna take that. I didn't make a pretty cool thing. All right, you make something over there while I get this catapult finished. So we're gonna tie this one. Now the one on the edge here needs to be really tight. There's no chance of it coming undone. Whoa, what was that? A catapult show off. A catapult show off. Okay, so this is the final kind of model of the catapult. As you saw, we put the nine together first. And then we put rubber band on each side, then we put two over the nine, and then we went ahead and we did the X for step number two. And then step number three was we went ahead and closed this off and tied the rubber band right there Don't around the front. Cap. And now for the final step, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna hot glue the cap, which we always do with the mom and dad. We don't ever let the kids to play with the hot glue. I know some other people in other videos use um, super glue, but we found that the hot glue holds the best. Brecken tends to like to launch really big things, so we have to make sure it stays on there really good. And you go ahead and you just hold it on there until it dries. And today we're going to launch... Country Girls! You can also use these as marshmallow launchers. You can go and um, get some marshmallows, and a lot of people like to launch marshmallows that we've seen. Um, we kind of go around the house and launch whatever little things we can find. So we're going to go ahead and pull all this off. Let's get your grocery gang out, Brecken. Ah, uh, uh, grocery gang attack. Running. <laughs> Running away. Good job. All right, so let's set up all of our grocery gang.
in here. You want to use the blue one and I'll use the purple one that I made. And we'll demonstrate how far we can launch these guys. Okay, ready? You pick which one you want to launch first. I picked two these ones. Okay, all right. Ready? We are launching like this. So you kind of put your hands, whoa, that came right back from on us. So what we noticed really works, because sometimes when you just go like this, it doesn't work so well. So what you do is you just put your fingers on one side if you're right-handed or left-handed. Um, yep, just like that, just like breaking it. You just kind of hold the front but, of your But I just hold it right here and down. There you go. All right, ready? Let's launch together. In three, two, one, launch. Woo! Yeah. Ooh. I launched the furthest. It did launch the furthest. Count down. In three, two, one, go. Woo! <laughs> Ta! Good job. Good job. All right, so we just got done making our first model of the catapult, and now we're going to make our second model, which we've never made before, but we've seen a lot. Um, over internet so we're gonna go ahead and try to make the spoon catapult are you ready to make the spoon catapult all right let's do this so once again let's grab nine can break and count nine go one two three four five six seven eight nine good job my friend. that was so good okay so we're gonna put nine together we're gonna go ahead and once again tie two rubber bands onto the edges here Now we're going to put the two other popsicle sticks on the edge. Once again, you do it a little bit shorter here and then a little bit longer ah! down below. And you're going to do your X rubber bands. So just like that. And turn it around. Turn it all around. All the cookies are done to get around. Okay. Just like that. And then once you have it, you can kind of secure it. So don't worry about it being perfectly even right away. And then you're going to go ahead and put the rubber band on the edge. Just like that. And once again, make sure the one on the nose is the tightest. So there you go. And then for our final step, we're going to use an extra rubber band. You're going to get a plastic spoon, correct? And you're going to go ahead and just secure it right here on the edge. And I'm going to have to go ahead and turn this and I'll show you guys what I do. And basically what they did is they tied the spoon on with a rubber band. Look at that, Mom. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It's a triple catapult grocery gang. Okay. I so what I did there is I just secured the spoon onto the edge and then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and push it down a little bit so that way we just have the edge sticking out. Watch so, this! Okay. So now we're going to see which one launches further. It's going to be the bottle cap catapult or the spoon catapult. Brecken wants to try the spoon. Okay, here we go. Can I what? Thank you, sir. On three, two, one, blast off! Oh, it didn't go far at all, did it? <laughs> Let's see if we can kind of tweak it and make it work a little bit better. But yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to go much further unless maybe we push this back more. Give it a little bit more spring. So make sure we hold this one down far. Let's trade one more time. Ah. Oh, this is a really funny looking grocery game. Okay, in three, two, one, blast off. Yeah, so it looks like the bottle top one goes a lot further than the plastic spoon one does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But it's still a really cool one to do and you can launch bigger things on it but they probably just won't go as far. I just have a good idea. What's your good idea? Try your cannonball. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! That one went further. I wonder if you maybe if you put it on the edge of the table because then you can kind of launch it down further. This one's my favorite! 